Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, I bring you a two part video. Part one will be this makeup look right here and part two will be the hair look. So if you're interested in just the hair, I'll link the video right here. And for you mobile device users, I will also link the video down below in the description box so that you can go ahead and just watch the hair portion. I find that sometimes when people combine both the hair and the makeup into one video, it makes for a really lengthy video. Some people may like to watch it, which is awesome. but. I myself, if I'm only interested in the hair, then I just want the hair portion. If I'm only interested in the makeup, I just want the makeup portion. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you're interested in seeing exactly how to recreate this makeup look, then just keep watching. To begin this look, I'm using this Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline in the color medium and just applying a thin layer onto my entire lid and then just blending it out with a damp Real Technique sponge. I went ahead and I did my brows off camera before I started the video because that's the only product that I used that wasn't a drugstore product. It was my usual routine and so I figured why put it on there if it's not a drugstore product. I've yet to find something like the Anastasia pomade so if anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. Then setting the concealer on my lid with this True Match powder in the color N4. For this entire eye look, I'm going to be using this Milani Earthy Elements palette. And I'm first going to start off by using this tan color and my Sigma E40 brush is just a big blending brush is what it is. And I'm going to be applying it onto the portion that is right along my crease. And then since it is a big blending brush, it's gonna go above my crease as well. And this is gonna work as my transition shade. Next, using the same brush and this like orangey color, I'm going to be applying that on top of the previous color. So on top of the color that I just placed down, that's exactly where this new color is going to go. And then just building that color up to where I like it. Going in with my Sigma E35, which is just a smaller blending brush than the one I just used, and this like browny reddish color from the palette, I'm going to be applying that onto my crease, but I'm concentrating the color mainly on my outer V. Now I know I've said it in my previous videos, but eye drops work just as well as my MAC Fix Plus, and I swear by that whenever I'm using any kind of shimmery shadows on my lid. So that is what I'm doing, just adding one drop of that onto my Sigma E55, which is just a small shadow brush, grabbing this kind of yellowy gold color from the palette, and then just packing that color onto my entire lid area, stopping right before the outer V and right at the crease. Using this super slim liquid liner from L'Oreal, I'm going to be adding kind of a long winged line onto my eye. Moving on to the face with the NYX Dark Circle Corrector. I am in the color medium, or at least that's what I'm going to be using. Applying that with my ring finger onto my entire lower eye area in order to color correct my dark circles before applying foundation. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and this is the dewy smooth formula, not the matte one because it is winter and I do want my skin to glow. I am in the shade Pure Beige and simply applying it to my entire face using the Real Techniques Damp Sponge. <laughs> For concealer, I'm using the H Rewind Concealer. This is the exact same thing that I used on my lids and just patting that onto my entire lower eye area. And I'm doing this as to not disturb the NYX color corrector because I obviously want that to stay put and in place in order to conceal those dark circles. <laughs> Then going in with my Real Technique sponge and blending everything out. And then 
just setting my under eye area using this Maybelline Master Fix Loose Powder. And if you can get your hands on this, I would highly suggest it because it sets the under eye area or at least my under eye area the exact same way that my Laura Mercier Brightening Powder does. So it was pretty hard to find. It literally was the last one in all of CVS and I didn't even find it at Ulta. But if you can get your hands on it, I would highly recommend it. For contour highlight and blush, I am using the new Master Contour by Maybelline, also by Maybelline, just like the one before. And this is the light medium version. I believe they have a light medium and a medium dark. I thought the medium dark, I wasn't a big fan of the blush because it was a little too dark for the look that I wanted to achieve today. So that's why I went with the light medium. And here I'm simply just contouring the face using the contour color from the palette and my Real Techniques sponge. So I'm just kind of carving out the cheekbones a little bit before turning the sponge around and blending that out. I decided that I went a little bit too heavy on the contour and so using the exact same loose powder from before and the sponge, I applied a thin layer of that. I wasn't baking or anything, I was just trying to uh, just fix the error, I suppose. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I didn't like it and so I just applied some of that loose powder onto the portion where I felt like it needed to be lightened, the contour did. And then just brushed away the excess and blended out any sharp edges that were left behind. Using my Luxie 504 brush, I went ahead and I added the blush from the palette. Then of course added the highlight along the tops of my cheekbones. The tip of my nose using my finger. My brow bone area. And lastly, using a little detailing brush, I added that onto the inner corners of my eyes, so right by the tear ducts. Next, I applied some lashes. These are the Demi Wispies from Ardell, which are my absolute favorite drugstore brand and style. Then went back into the palette using a flat defining brush and grabbed the chocolatey, like brownish reddish color and applied that onto my lower lash line. Then went back and grabbed the tan color from the palette using a pencil brush and blended out my lower lash line. Using NYX's jumbo pencil in the color yogurt, I added that onto my waterline. Then of course just added some mascara in order to blend my top lashes with my false lashes and to make my bottom one stand out. This is in drugstore though, so that's why I'm not naming it. <laughs> And this last item to complete the look isn't a drugstore brand, however they need to be or they might as well be because at $6 a pop for these matte lipsticks, I mean like, come on, obviously. Anyway, this is ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in the color Bad Habit. And that completes the entire look. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making this for you. As always, take care and I will see you all next week. Bye!